It's the weekend and Kevin and I have a lot we want to try to get done. The weather's not cooperating. It's already misting right now, so we'll see. A lot of the work's going to be inside the van, so that should be okay. So Kevin's going to be installing a continuous duty solenoid for me today. What this will do is allow me to charge the house batteries while I'm driving using the alternator. We wanted to get this done before we lay in the subfloor because we're going to be running a wire underneath it that runs from the solenoid to the house battery. On these Ford Transit vans, the battery is located underneath the seat, so it's going to involve removing the seat to get to it. We've never done that before, so we're not sure how easy that's going to be. We'll see. There's a wire right here, so I can't go too much further than that. Okay, so I just need to remove these three little clips, plastic clips, so I can access this little bolt, which will remove this, and I can take this panel off and see what it looks like under there, and figure out where we can mount the solenoid. So I'm removing these right now so I can get these bolts out. I think there's, there's only two, there's two of them, one here and one here. And they make tools for this, but this actually I think it's going to work pretty well. It's just a wrench. That's that. Now I can take these out so I can get this cover off. So this is, um, this is also how you would get to your battery, Cindy, if you um, had a dead battery and you needed to replace it. How heavy was the seat? Um, it's pretty light, actually. Okay. It's wasn't bad at all. Looks like they zip tied this to that. I have zip ties, so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna cut that off so I can move this out of my way. And I'll just re-zip tie it. So now I should be able to get into this guy. Is sharp. Make it easy. Everything's tight. There. All right. So the key's off right now, and you can see how the light comes on. All these yeah. are all these are hot. So we don't want to use any of these. And this one's hot so we don't want to use any of those because we want the solenoid to not be connected when the when the vehicle is not running okay so these right here see how the, no lights coming on mm -hmm. these are these are not hot so we can use one of these and then what we'll do is we'll plug one of these into it all right and then let me go turn the key on Okay, so the key's on right now, and we'll have this plugged in, and you can see that's hot now. Yeah. So that way when you run your ignition, this wire will become hot, which will activate the solenoid, and um, allow your house batteries to charge while okay. the vehicle's running. And then we'll just have a wire that comes out of here, we'll probably put a little hole in the back of this. So it'll come out of here, we'll run it down through there. The tricky part's gonna be getting it through into the van, figuring out where to run it into the van and down underneath everything and into the uh, solenoid mm -hmm. to get it power, so. All right, cool. It's raining. So how's it going? 
Well, I, I think I got it figured out. I figured out how to get the wire from the engine, from the fuse panel back to here. But I need to go to the auto parts store because I forgot about a fuse for this one. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> okay. So it stopped raining and really we can't complain about the rain because it gives us avocados. We decided to go in and get a little bit of lunch. This time of year is avocado season. We have some really nice avocados this year. without having to take everything apart. All right, so I finally got the wire from the fuse block up front, through the firewall, routed through everything, and into the battery box. This is what's gonna power the solenoid um, when the ignition is turned on. And I think I'm gonna mount this, the solenoid right here on the side of this box. And then I'll have a two gauge um, wire that comes from here into this fuse. And then from this fuse, it'll go into the solenoid. And then from here, it'll from this side of the solenoid, it'll go out through the box and under the floor over to the house batteries. And then as far as ground goes, so power will go into one side, ground will go to the other. And I check this right here. This right here seems to be grounded to the frame. It's a good ground. This is grounded to the chassis. So that'll be a good ground right here. So I'm just going to ground the solenoid. So it's a little short wire that'll run from here out of the battery box in into this ground right there. And that should pretty much do it. That was tricky trying to figure out how to get the wire in to the firewall, but we got it. So tell us what you've done. Well, I'm finally done. And I came from the positive from the battery, went into this fuse, and then came out of this fuse into the solenoid, and then came out of the solenoid, and it goes out of the battery box, through the bottom of the seat and it's going to run under the floor and then I'll run over to where our um, battery bank is going to be. And then to get power to the solenoid, I um, we ran a wire from the fuse block up front to one that's only hot when the ignition's on, comes under into the battery box and it goes to give power to it and then for the ground it just runs to this right here, to this little bolt right there, because that was a good ground right there. And then uh, we can actually test it, and see if it works. So right now the ignition's off, so there's nothing on this side, there's no power. And then we'll turn the ignition on. Where's the keys? Right there. Put the ignition on. I have to listen to some beeping. So the ignition's on. The vehicle would be running, say, down the road. And we're hot. Turn the ignition off. And that's it. And you could actually hear the solenoid click. Hmm. So it's on. And then it's off. And that'll get us power to our batteries when you're driving down the road. It'll get you charging them off the alternator. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it only took all day. 
Oh well. You got done. Yeah. So there's where the power comes from out of the fuse block. Through this. See it? Mm hmm And then it runs down to a fuse right here. An inline fuse. And I got a 15 uh, 20 amp inline fuse. And I'm actually gonna pull it out. So this isn't gonna be hot anymore when the ignition's on. And the reason why is because we don't have any batteries or anything hooked up back there yet. So we don't need it to be hot when we're not using it. And when we're ready, we'll just put this guy back in. We should be good to go. Cool. <laughs> Been dealing with that all day. So we have finished installing the solenoid. So we had, so Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> so Kevin has finished installing the solenoid and tomorrow we're going to be installing a 30 amp plug. That way we mm. can charge our batteries by shore power also if we want to. We'll show you that installation then. Okay, new plan. We're not going to install the 30 amp plug today like we were going to because Kevin's a little unsure about the wire he picked out and it's going to order a different wire and we're going to use that instead. So in, what we're going to do today is start laying in the 1x2s that are going to support the subfloor. Okay, we got most of the brace pieces cut for the subfloor. They still need to be adhered and I'll work on that this week. And then next weekend, hopefully, we'll be ready to start cutting the plywood pieces that make up the subfloor.